Good morning, welcome to my first YouTube video. Today will be a video about uh, casting casting plaster into silicone mould tea lights. Um, I'm going to do four different types of tea lights today. So we've got the 150ml tea light, personally my favourite, 130, 110 and the 95ml tea light moulds. Um, I'm going to use Crystal Color today, which is a high density casting plaster, uh, widely available online. Um, with my two kilos of casting plaster, I have got 800 ml of water. I find that that's quite a good ratio given the amount. Um, the other things that you're going to need today is a silicone um, spatula, which I find works really well, and a either a cocktail stick, a long stick an artist brush, something along those lines, and I'll explain why when we start pouring the cast in plaster. Um, so I also use a mixer on a drill, um, only because I make a lot of cast in plaster and it's easier, but a lot of you don't have this, so mixing by hand is absolutely fine. Um, so first things first, I'm going to mix my plaster. It should resemble something like batter. Um, if there are a few lumps in it, it it's, doesn't matter, but obviously the smoother the better. So I'm going to pour my water straight into my plaster and just mix gradually as I'm going. majority is mixed, um, I use a spatula and just, very similar to baking, get the final little lumps that get stuck on the bottom of the bowl. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but the smoother the better. And then once you think you've got a nice sort of consistency, obviously it's not too wet, but it's not too thick, it's easy to pour. Um, take your mix and just slowly pour into your silicone moulds. I'm going to pour to uh, straight up to the vents. Um, some people like having a little upstand, some people don't. Obviously it can be sanded. I'm going to fill this one, which is fine, just allow it to dry and set it aside. Okay, I would normally use this, which is a dentist vibrating plate. Um, when I'm doing a big pour, um, basically it just helps tap for me. Uh, the cocktail stick is to go around the inside of the mould, around the upside, inside of the tea light, um, and that will just move any air that's lodged or stuck, which means that when your casting is removed from the mould, it won't have any holes or air pockets 
around the top. So we're going to do each and every single one. Like I said, you can use an artist brush, cocktail stick, um, anything that's just quick and easy to run around the inside. So anything that's got an undercut, um, where air can get trapped, just run the stick, brush, just around the inside. And then tap when you're agitating the plaster to bring all the air to the top which will uh, stop you having air bubbles. What I do recommend is every time you use your moulds um, before each and every pour is to wash with some warm soapy water after you've um, done a pour and you've removed the casting from the mould. There can, a, a, a plastery residue can be left with inside or bits from the plaster. So yeah, a good rinse with warm soapy water before each and every mould. Just make sure that they are clean. Just tap. You've got quite a good working time with uh, Crystal Colour. You should be able to demold these in about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on your temperature. And get up as much air as possible. The good thing about these moulds is that they're self supporting, so you can slightly lift them to try and lift air that may be stuck on the bottom. When you've done your final tap, if you're happy and you think that you've tapped enough or you can feel that it's starting to set, take your spatula and just wipe the top of your mould to give you a nice clean underside vent. Not there. Mm. Wait for them to dry. Mm. 